Hey guys, welcome to Joe Seminaire Presents. I'm Joe Seminaire. Today we're going to be talking about Film Hub. Now, many filmmakers in the distribution phase uh, will be looking for companies like Film Hub. Let's face it, most people were looking for Distriber way back then when that whole nightmare collapsed. Film Hub seems to be a different uh, analytical beast than uh, distribu Distriber was. And Film Hub, I've had some success with Film Hub. I haven't made a ton of money on that yet. And I think the problem, let me give you the, 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 the bad news about Film Hub. The reality is that though they advertise 60 or 80 different platforms that they distribute to, chances are that your film is not going to see one sixteenth of that. So you're going to be in a situation where you might get on Amazon, you might get on Tubi TV, and then you're going to be like, you know, well, where's the other stuff going? You know, what what's happening with that? And Film Hub is so unique in the way that they do business with their keyword search uh, and stuff like that, that it picks up the algorithms and, and basically those other platforms are going to look to see if those tags that you put in your film and everything else, if they fit up with the category that they're looking for. So they have a system in place where they know exactly what films they want to take on. Depending on the keywords that you put when you sign up for Film Hub, which is why that's the most important thing with Film Hub, is make sure that you're loading up your content and you're doing it right. You're putting in those keywords. You've got to spend the time. I mean, if your movie's a documentary on birds, don't start clicking horror, slasher, and everything else because you're going to be miscategorized and you're not going to get any distribution. So Film Hub is a powerful tool if you understand it. Uh, but if you're not putting in the proper words and keywords and phrases and stuff like that, you're going to be lost in the sauce and you, and you don't want to do that. The good news about Film Hub as well is if you load up something, chances are you're going to go live relatively fast. A traditional distributor might give you that six months crap, but usually in Film Hub, if you upload everything and you pass the specs, there's some serious specs on there. You got to know what you're doing with the sound and you know, what kind of format they want. They list all that on the site. Just give it to an editor if you're not familiar with it. Uh, and then that all that information is going to uh, go into the system and right up in the upload. Usually about a month and a half, you'll be up on Amazon. So that's good news. So Film Hub is definitely a good uh, distribution company to check out. I know a lot of filmmakers that have done very well on that. 2B TV's turning up to be a really good platform, a really good payout for independent filmmakers. And, you know, there's only a few aggregators that can get their, uh, get shows and TV movies and stuff like that um, on Tubi TV. Film Hub is one of them. And I've got a couple of films up on Tubi TV from them as well. So check them out, Film Hub. Um, one really good thing I like about it is, man, they are on it. When you ask them a question or send them an email, you get an, I've always, there hasn't been more than 12 hours where I haven't gotten a response. So they are very on top of servicing any questions that you might have. Now, they, they don't jump on the phone, but by email, by the chat a feature that they have on the website, they're just very, very good. One thing I can't stand about a distributor is when they take days to get back to you. There's just no reason for it. It just shows that they're short-staffed or that they hate your guts, one or the other. Um, at least with Film Hub, they get back to you relatively fast. So check them out. Filmmakers can self-distribute through Film Hub. They take a percentage on the back end so they don't charge anything up front. And believe me, there's a lot of things that they have to do to, to, to slip that movie in place and, and everything else. So lights, camera, action. If you're doing anything uh, worthwhile, you're making your movie. You're not letting anybody stop you. You're certainly not going to let anybody give you any excuses even in the state of the economy and if 50,000 meteors hit the earth tomorrow and, and half the earth was on fire I would expect you to make a documentary on that so lights camera action